Have you ever noticed how some shower filters make bold promises about transforming your skin, protecting your hair, and even improving your health? The Jolie Showerhead is one of the most expensive shower filters on the market right now, coming in at around $169. That is a lot for a shower filter, so naturally, I had to get it, install it, and put it through the same kind of testing I do with every product on this channel. In this Jolie Showerhead review, I'll walk you through what we found in our lab testing, the pros and cons of this system, and whether or not the Jolie filtered showerhead is worth that premium price tag. At the time of recording, the Jolie shower filter sells for $169 up front, making it one of the priciest shower filters I've ever tested. Replacement cartridges run around $150 per year, and the total cost per gallon filtered works out to about 1.2 cents per gallon. Compare that to other shower filters that run at a quarter of that cost, and you start to see why the Jolie shower filter might raise some eyebrows. On top of that, Jolie doesn't come with a long-term warranty. You only get a 60-day return policy, which is basically just a trial window. After that, you're on your own. So what are you actually getting for that price? Jolie combines the shower head and the filter into a single sleek unit. Inside, it uses KDF and calcium sulfite media, both designed mainly for chlorine removal. There's no carbon block filter here, which is important because carbon is one of the few filter media capable of reducing disinfection byproducts, which are a big concern in the shower and which I'll talk about in just a minute. The Jolie filtered shower head has a 3000 gallon filter capacity, which works out to about three months of use before you need to replace the cartridge, depending of course on your specific water quality. Flow rate is excellent at around 2.2 gallons per minute, so you don't lose water pressure when it's installed. And to be fair, Jolie does have some style points. It's available in several attractive finishes like chrome, black, gold, and red. There are a few things I like about the Jolie shower filter. In our testing, it completely eliminated chlorine, bringing levels down from two parts per million to zero. Installation was also simple. It took less than two minutes and comes with its own heavy duty wrench. And replacing the cartridge is quick and easy and Jolie offers free shipping in the lower 48 states plus a no questions asked 60 day return policy. But here's where the Jolie showerhead starts to lose its shine. As I already mentioned, the price is high both up front and for ongoing maintenance. The marketing is also a bit misleading. On their product page, Jolie states that the filter, quote, far exceeds NSF 177 certifications and has been, quote, tested in multiple labs. To me, that reads like they're suggesting that their own testing is somehow more reliable than certification under NSF ANSI standards. Let me be clear, in the water treatment industry, certification to NSF ANSI standards by organizations like the NSF, WQA, or IATMO is the gold standard. It's what proves a product will actually perform the way the manufacturer claims. So to me, when a company doesn't hold certifications for their products and downplays certification in general, it raises a big red flag. And in our own limited real life testing, the Jolie shower filter didn't significantly reduce disinfection byproducts or DBPs, which are actually a bigger health concern in shower water than chlorine. It also had a negligible effect on water hardness. So if you're dealing with dry skin or brittle hair from hard water, this won't solve your problem. I actually made a dedicated video on how to soften hard water for just one shower, which I'll link up for you guys down in the description. The build itself is primarily plastic and it comes with a custom wrench, but that doesn't really justify the premium price. And despite their claims, reductions in a number of heavy metals were minimal. And in fact, some metals actually increased after filtration. And one more thing to mention here, a viewer of mine on YouTube at Chinchar recently pointed out something pretty interesting. He noted that based on over 2,200 reviews listed directly on Jolie's website, there are zero one-star and two-star reviews. Out of those reviews, 1,950 are five-star, 178 are four-star, and 81 are three-star. Jokingly, he said their showerhead is so good at filtering, they've managed to filter their own ratings in the process. Now, of course, I can't confirm whether these reviews are filtered or manipulated, but it's definitely unusual to see a product with 
thousands of reviews and not a single negative one. That kind of rating distribution could raise some eyebrows and I figured others would find it interesting too. Thanks Chinchar for spotting that. When testing a shower filter like the Jolie Showerhead, the contaminants I care most about are chlorine, disinfection byproducts aka DBPs, and water hardness. Those are the ones that matter in the shower most because your body is exposed through inhalation and skin contact. Chlorine and DBPs, especially trihalomethanes, are volatile and released into the air in the shower and get into your lungs. Studies have linked long-term exposure to things like respiratory irritation and even increased cancer risk. Water hardness, on the other hand, doesn't pose a nefarious health concern, but it absolutely affects your skin and hair. Hard water minerals leave behind residue that causes dryness, dandruff, irritation, and can exacerbate existing skin conditions. Other contaminants like heavy metals, fluoride, and other inorganics are much more of a concern when you're actually drinking the water. The risk in the shower is relatively low since you're not ingesting them, so while we still tested for them, they weren't the main priority here. So now let's look at the numbers to see exactly how well the Jolie shower filter performed with our tap water. The filter did exactly what it promised, taking chlorine from two parts per million down to zero. Removing chlorine is really the minimum I'd expect from any shower filter. Next, trihalomethane disinfection byproducts. In our unfiltered shower water, we detected 5.47 ppb of chloroform, 2.62 ppb of bromodichloromethane, 0.74 ppb of dibromochloromethane, and 0.25 ppb of bromochloromethane. After filtering with Jolie, chloroform dropped by about 23%, bromochloromethane dropped by 44%, but dibromochloromethane actually went up 39%, and bromodichloromethane increased by about 13% and bromoform showed up at 0.08 ppb, which wasn't present before. Now, to be clear, I don't think that the Jolie filter itself added these three that increased post-filtration. This is likely due to fluctuations in the source water between when we took the sample for the unfiltered test in the morning, and then when we took the sample post-filtration from the Jolie later in the day. Overall, total trihalomethanes, or THMs, only decreased slightly from 8.83 ppb to 8.26 ppb. So while chlorine was completely removed, Jolie essentially did nothing to meaningfully reduce disinfection byproducts. Now let's talk water hardness. Our unfiltered water measured 128 ppm, or about 7.5 grains per gallon, which is considered hard. After filtering with Jolie, hardness dropped by less than 1% to 127 ppm. That's expected because shower filters like Jolie don't use technology that's capable of actually softening the water. And to be fair, Jolie doesn't advertise that their product can address hard water. Now, beyond those three priority contaminant categories, we also saw a few other odd results. Zinc increased by more than 4,500%, going from 0.009 ppm to 0.42 ppm. That's almost certainly leaching from the KDF media inside the filter, since it's made from zinc and copper. As for the other metals detected, arsenic was only reduced by 11%, copper by 60%, lead by 37%, lithium by 5%, molybdenum by 1%, nickel by 75%, and strontium by 1%. Cobalt and vanadium were unaffected, and uranium actually increased by 4.5%. Fluoride jumped from 0.004 ppm to 0.245 ppm, a 6,000% increase, which again was likely due to changes in the source water between samples and not coming from the Jolie filter itself. We also picked up manganese and thallium in the filtered sample when they weren't detected at all in the unfiltered water. None of these detections pose much concern in the shower environment, and most are even below health guidelines except for the arsenic, lead, and uranium. So, who should probably skip the Jolie showerhead? If you want disinfection byproduct reduction, this filter won't help. If your main problem is hard water, it won't fix that either. If you care about third-party certifications, Jolie has none. If you want a strong warranty, you only get 60 days. And if you're looking for value, there are better performing shower filters for much less money. To put things in perspective, 
let's compare Jolie with some competitors. The Weddle Duo is the only shower filter we've tested that sufficiently reduced DBPs, and it's certified to NSF ANSI 177 for chlorine reduction. Sprite's Slimline 2, another option that uses essentially the same filter media as Jolie, is much cheaper at around $35 and is also certified to NSF ANSI 177. So who would actually want the Jolie showerhead filter? Honestly, it's really only for someone with a bigger budget who cares more about the aesthetic design and look of their showerhead than performance. Or maybe if your only concern is chlorine and you really like the specific style of the Jolie showerhead. But if you want stronger contaminant reduction performance or you're cost conscious, there are better alternatives out there. The Jolie shower filter looks sleek, installs easily and removes chlorine, but at $169, it just doesn't justify the price. It doesn't significantly reduce DBPs, it doesn't address water hardness, and it's not performance certified. If you love the design and don't mind paying extra, then the Jolie showerhead might work for you. But if you care about performance, certifications, and value, your money is much better spent on a certified, more affordable alternative. So if you want to see which shower filter came out on top in my testing and how it tackled the real shower water issues that Jolie did not, click or tap to watch the next video coming up right now.